Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Algae, and in this small video, I want to discuss one of the additional reasons why we're heavy. A lot of us overlook this because it hasn't really been brought to our attention. We understand how lifestyle plays a role in weight gain, lack of exercise, improper diet, too much sugar, but one of the things that all of us are overlooking is how plastics contribute to weight gain. Plastics have a component in them called BPA, and BPA is an estrogen mimicker, and that means it mimics the effects of the female hormone estrogen. Plastic plays the role of carrying BPA into your body. I'm going to be discussing the link between plastics and the female hormone estrogen. This is the hormone that turns young females into women. We will also be discussing plastic water bottles, metal food containers, and aluminum cans. They're all made with plastics. The chemical in plastics which mimics estrogen is something called BPA. BPA is an industrial chemical used to make plastics and was once used as synthetic estrogen for women. Lastly, we'll discuss a few slides about pesticides because pesticides also act as estrogen mimicker in both men and women. Too much estrogen can cause excessive weight gain, menstrual problems, worsening of premenstrual syndromes, fibrocystic breast, fibroids, fatigue, loss of sex drive, and feeling depressed or anxious. High levels in men can cause enlarged breasts, poor erections, and infertility. While it's not listed here, it can also cause depression, excessive weight gain, and something called metabolic syndrome. The female sex hormone estrogen is made internally in a woman's ovaries. If a female has a medical condition where estrogen levels are low, a doctor can prescribe her external estrogen in the form of pills, a patch, or an injection. However, some of us are getting an unhealthy dose of synthetic estrogen from plastics. We eat food stored in plastic, we use plastic utensils, drink through plastic straws, and drink out of plastic cups. We do this all the time without ever being aware or informed of the dangers of the chemicals in plastic. Once again, the specific chemical I'm talking talking about today is BPA. BPA is a known environmental estrogen that is widely used as the monomer to manufacture polycarbonate plastics, the resin that is used as linings for most foods and beverage cans, as a dental sealant, and as an additive in other widely used consumer products. 6.4 billion pounds of BPA was produced last year and dumped into our food supply. You've seen the sign many times in every grocery store, gas station, and liquor store you've been into, whether you've recognized it or not and it tells you warning many food and beverage cans have linings containing BPA a chemical known to the state of California to cause harm to the female reproductive system jar lids and bottle caps contain BPA you are exposed to BPA when you consume foods or beverages packaged in these containers let us walk through any grocery store and visually look at how this 6.4 billion pounds of BPA are making its way into our bodies all meats are wrapped in plastics fish is wrapped in plastic cheeses are wrapped in plastics, water, oils, milk, and alcoholic beverages. There's a big push to get rid of plastic straws in restaurants. Some people don't like paper straws because they don't work as well. They fall apart very quickly. And there may be some truth to that. But get a bamboo straw, a metal straw, or a glass straw. You want a straw that doesn't contain BPA and plastic straws contain BPA. Let's recap. It doesn't matter how you have too much estrogen in your body. You can make too much internally. Your medical dose can be too high or you can be eating synthetic estrogen in the form of BPA from plastics regardless of how too much estrogen will cause you to put on weight. What about BPA free product? I want to say this as plainly as I can. BPA free products are a lie. In this article it states that most plastic products release estrogenic chemicals. BPA free products release chemicals having more estrogenic activity than did BPA containing products. So if something says it's BPA free that means it actually has more powerful estrogenic chemicals in it. All the paper cups that we think are paper are not paper. They are, have a paper exterior and a plastic lining on the interior. That's how you make paper waterproof. So when you pour your liquid to the inside of any coffee cup, the interior plastic lining is leaching BPA and therefore synthetic estrogen into your product and then you're consuming it. All aluminum cans have a BPA plastic liner on the inside of them. So whether it's your Coca-Cola, your Pepsi, your Dr. Pepper, or whatever aluminum can you may be consuming out of, you need to understand that the liquid inside that can 
is sitting inside of plastic and then the BPA is leaching into the product. A brief note about organic versus non-organic produce. Effect of endocrine disruptor pesticides. A huge number of chemicals have been identified as endocrine disruptors, among them several pesticides. Pesticides act like estrogen in men and women, and that's important because you don't want to be consuming more estrogen. If the non-organic produce section said estrogen covered vegetables, great for helping males and females put on weight. You might be a little more reluctant to buy non-organic. Or if that same section said pesticides decrease male and female libido, you might understand the importance of buying organic. So let's review. Plastics are made with BPA, BPB, BPS, or BPAF. All act as estrogen mimickers. BPA-free means BPB, BPS, or BPAF are the substitute. They have more estrogenic activity. Paper, coffee cups, and aluminum cans are made with plastic. Use glass, ceramic, or metal containers. Eat organic produce. Non-organic produce has pesticides, and pesticides are estrogen mimickers. And if you haven't been paying attention, you've probably been consuming too much estrogen. If you or someone you know needs help with either a simple or complex health problem, please feel free in giving our office a call.